<laughs> Hello, Tom Moss, the prank engine. What have you got attached to your engine? You found it and you're not going to tell me what it is. You're going to cause trouble again, aren't you? <laughs> Thomas was having a good day. But then he heard something. Thomas, come and see me at Maithwaite Station straight away. That sounds exciting, thought Thomas. I must go at once. Uh oh, here's trouble. <laughs> you wanted to see me, sir, said Thomas. No, I didn't want to see you here, said Sir Topham Hatt angrily. I want to see you on your branch line. But you called for me. Go. Thomas left, very annoyed. What's got into him, thought Thomas. Percy was busy moving cargo around. Then he heard a voice. Percy, you are dropping your cargo everywhere. Go back and pick it all up now. Oh no, thought Percy. Dropping cargo? That's terrible. You again? Something's going on here. <laughs> Percy turned round and started retracing his journey. He kept stopping but couldn't find any dropped cargo anywhere. Thomas met Percy and they told each other their stories. I need to find out what's going on, said Thomas. James was moving some of Farmer McColl's cattle when he heard a voice. James, some of your cattle have escaped and are running wild. Oh no, thought James. How could that have happened? I must find them all at once. It's you. That's a megaphone, isn't it? <laughs> But this time, Thomas saw everything. While James was busy searching for his cattle, Thomas thought of a plan. Tom Moss was enjoying his prank when he heard a voice. Tom Moss, your tunnel is on fire. Uh -oh. Tom was horrified and left immediately. Thomas came out from the trees with his own megaphone. Good plan, Thomas. Tom steamed back to his tunnel. No fire on this side. It must be the other. Tom realised that he had been pranked. He quickly reversed and Thomas went after him. Thomas was catching him up, but when he approached Maithwaite, Sir Topham Hatt stopped him. Thomas, why are you still here? I told you to get back to work on your branch line. But, but sir, said Thomas. No buts, Thomas. Go back to work. Tom saw Thomas in trouble and knew that he was safe again. <laughs> Thanks for watching our story. 
Here's another you may have missed. Sir Topham Hatt had asked Thomas to go on a special errand. He'd arranged for a new engine, Ryan, to take over Thomas's branch line while he was gone. Thomas couldn't wait to get started and left Ryan to get on with it. Thomas was in search of some lost treasure. On the way, he picked up a car in the hope that he'd find some. After a while, he arrived at the shipwreck where it was thought that the treasure had been hidden. The only way to find it was to go on the wreck itself. Thomas started up the rickety track. When he got to the top, he stopped. Wow, this is really high up here, he said. He looked down and saw a treasure chest. That's the treasure. As I go down, I may be able to get it to fall into my car. He launched himself forward. As he went through the shipwreck, the treasure chest did fall into his car. Wow, that's great. I wonder if there's more treasure, he said and he went around again. This time he managed to stop at the bottom and gold coins dropped all over him and filled his car. He then found another car to put a treasure chest on and then started his return journey. When he got back, Sir Topham Hatt and Ryan were there to meet him. Well done Thomas, I knew you could do it. Thanks for watching our story featuring the new treasure Thomas that's taken from the new DVD Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure. Thomas is decorated with gold coins and has some removable coins. The two cars both have removable cargo and the chest opens to show gold coins inside. The really big set is the shipwreck rail set which sees Thomas turn upside down as he descends, picking up the treasure chest at the bottom. We produced a more detailed video of shipwreck rails a short while back and the link to this is in this description. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to see more click on any of these clips. See you soon.